How to find indentured trustees part two. Let me open up by saying credit unions are not public trading companies. Thus, they don't have trustees and their SEC filings don't have to be published to their website. Is there someone that you can address in relation to securities? Sure. But how can we always find that person or people? Not 100% sure on that. But I will give you some information on Navy Federal because I know a lot of people are looking for that. Okay. So what throws a lot of people off is when we have what is called third-party solicitors. And these are corporations that work in conjunction with banks to get people to sign up for loans or credit accounts. And so what a lot of you are doing is you're taking your third-party solicitor who appears to be the lender and you're trying to find a trustee of that corporation. But that's not who you should be looking for. You should be looking for the lender and finding the trustee of the lender. I'm going to give some examples. So how do you know if you have a third party solicitor? The first question you should ask yourself, is it a bank? Yes or no. If it's not a bank or a credit union or a broker, nine times out of 10, that means they are a third party solicitor and we need to find the actual lender. So Avant is one of these examples. Avant doesn't even sound like a bank. So I do believe someone had approached me and they had a credit account through Avant. They were trying to find a trustee. When I showed them that Avant is not the lender, they asked me, well, how can I find the lender? I said, well, look at your statement. Majority of the time, the lender's name will actually be on the statement, right? Then he was able to find the lender and then he then proceeded to find a trustee. If we are completely honest, you could just address the CFO of the corporation. What we are asking the indentured trustee to do, the CFO can do also. And it takes five seconds to find who the CFO of a corporation is, right? So I just want to show another example of how to find a trustee. Just to recap, um, something that can be confusing to people is when you get a car from these corporations who sell cars, a lot of the big corporations who sell cars actually have financial departments that are actually banks underneath their umbrella. And sometimes this may confuse people, right? So Carvana is one of those. Carvana, they sell used cars, but they also have a finance department that's an actual bank. And I know that Toyota is the same way and GMC is also the same way. Now, that doesn't mean that they will always finance you in-house when you buy vehicles from these corporations because they can also act, almost act as a third-party solicitor and shop for other financial institutions that are willing to lend you money based on your credit worthiness. So when we're looking for the trustee or who to address, you just need to make sure that you know who actually lent you the money. So let's say I purchased a car from Carvana and I actually got financing from Carvana. So if I'm looking for the trustee, because Carvana is actually my lender, right? I want to look at their uh, SEC filing. So I'm gonna type in Carvana Investor Relations, right? And now I'm gonna click SEC filings. So typically we want to look at the 8K forms, which should either be called 8K, like it's saying here, or they can also be called current forms or 10K forms, which also would be annual reports, right? So typically, um, if typically the 10K forms I use to find subsidiaries. So let's say, okay, I know I got financing from Carvana because I didn't shop around for other financial institutions, but I'm not sure of the name of the corporation underneath the Carvana umbrella, right? So if I'm not sure of that, I could actually use the 10K and try to find the name of that corporation, right? So I'm gonna click this 10K form and what I like to do is, oh, I'm already here, but I click Control F, right? And I wanna type in subsidiary. And here we go. So this is listing all the subsidiaries underneath the Carvana umbrella, right? So if I read some of these, uh, neither one of them is sticking out as the financial institution, but um, 
because I've researched this before, I'm aware that the Carvana LLC is actually the financial institution, right? So that's good to know. It may be obvious if you're searching underneath another company, it may be more obvious, like GM. I think the financial institution under GM is GM Financial. So if I were to be looking at GM and looking at the 10K, looking at the subsidiaries, I would see GM Financial and I'm like, okay, I need to look at the SEC filings of GM Financial. But typically they will all be under the same umbrella, so maybe that doesn't even matter. Okay, now confirms who lent me the money are confirms that they're like under the umbrella of the of Carvana. Um, now I'm going to go through the AK forms and I'm going to see if I can find a trustee and who to address. Okay, so back to the CC filings. I'm going to click AK. Typically, I like to start at the top and go down. Um, click the PDF version. Uh, and then again, what I like to do is hold control and press F to bring up the search box. And then I like to search trustee and just start going down until I see something. And then bam, right here, I see US Bank Trust Company. Then the trustee, two seconds. Okay, so once I found the trustee name, what I like to do is then I like to copy the name and then I'm going to paste that into my search bar. And now I want to look for an address. I want to see if an address would be listed on this document. And so this is actually who I'm going to address. So when I look at this, Paul, he works at Carvana, but Brandon works at the U.S. Bank Trust Company. He's signing on behalf of U.S. Bank. So if there's someone I want to address, I'm going to address Brandon. Okay, so we found out who the trustee is and we found out who to address, address at the Trust Bank. Now again, we're going to continue searching to see who we're going to to see where we're going to send it to. Gonna keep going down, keep going down, and then bam, right here, we have an address. So US Bank Trust Company, 60 Livingston Avenue, St. Paul, Minnesota. And they have a specific department and a trust bank for Carvana, which I know at and is the same way with their trustee. They have a specific department in the bank for their corporation. So I found the trustee, who to address, and the address to send to all in one document. Now, one of the biggest issues you are going to incur during this journey is when these corporations ignore you or just deny you and tell you we don't accept that as a form of payment this is going to happen a lot it's already happened to me it's happened to a lot of people that i talk to right so the next step is actually figuring out how to enforce these things or holding these corporations liable now again we're speaking to a lot of uneducated people also but we really really need to figure out how we can enforce and stand on these things and hold these people liable. Okay, for something that would make a lot of people happy, uh, someone shared this with me, is a list of indentured trustees and the addresses and who to address. Now, I have not 100% confirmed that all of these addresses are correct. Um, from the ones that I have researched, they tend to match up, so I'm under the assumption that they all are correct. Now, the people who you address can change from time to time. So you may have to address different people now. Um, I showed you how to find who to address. Um, you have to do your own due diligence to figure out, you know, if you should address the person that's listed here or find someone else to address. Uh, typically, I like to look up the person to see if they still work at that bank because they could be working somewhere else. 
So basically, uh, you would pause the video if you see a, a name that you're looking for. And the good thing is Navy Federal is on this list. And I know a lot of you want that. So that's going to be the end of this video. If you have any more questions, just leave me some comments and I'll try to get back to you.